Welcome to unit one. We're gonna be dealing with very introductory concepts that are going to tie in to all future concepts for the school year. So we call this unit prologue. We'll be dealing with graphing, rate of change, just like speed, density, latitude and longitude. So that's gonna be some of our introductory topics. <clears throat> How would I like you in the classroom or at home to be taking notes, to prepare academically for the different modules that we'll be working on together. Make sure you have a one subject notebook so that you can do some annotating and some writing in. Make sure you always put the date so that you know which class you're taking your notes for. And your note pages will be used for the following ways. Annotations, like I've mentioned. Whiteboards, you might be writing something down and holding it up or on screen or something to that nature. If you're remote, you may be typing into the comments box for responses so that I can check that you've been participating. So you might be using it for scrap paper, something to write down, or calculator to do work. You might also be doing it to write down maybe some of your guided practice questions, maybe some of your independent practice questions, so that you can have something to refer to before you go to the Google form and fill out that submission form. Also, self-assessments, maybe closing questions, places for you to write something down to think it out before you enter it into a Google form. So one of the things that Ms. Kowalski, Ms. H, or I will be doing is maybe going around and checking your annotations from a distance, but checking to see what you might have written down after you've read some of the notes. So annotations <clears throat> could be something like a question you have. Maybe it's a drawing or a diagram. Maybe you're writing a short summary sentence. Maybe something in your own words to help you comprehend it better. Uh, linking maybe something in the reading to somewhere in your own life that you've, you've seen that phenomena. And writing vocabulary definitions in your own words. Maybe rewriting something slightly differently. In terms of using the notebooks as whiteboards if you're here in the physical setting in the classroom, uh, we'll be using probably about half of the page. You just want to make sure that you write your answer big on that half of the sheet of page. Don't rip anything out. Leave it in there. Make sure it's big so that Ms. H, Ms. Kowalski, or I can see what you've written. There's no shame in showing a wrong answer. This is just like the independent practice. We're just gauging and understanding what you know during our guided practice. Okay? Even if you leave it blank and you have no idea, there's no shame in that because that's why you're here. You're here to learn. You are not penalized for participating. But if you choose not to participate at all, there may be the possibility that you have to be charged for sitting in your seat and doing nothing, okay? Which most of the time is not the case. It's pretty simple to just show us a blank board if you're not sure. With that said, that kind of gives you the outline of how I'd like to run the classroom. Uh, be a bit more specific beyond what you've read in the introduction work guide.